George Lucas once said that sound is 50% of the movie going experience. And if you want to take in every sweeping piece of score, every little line of dialogue and cinematic boom, then you need a sound system and acoustic treatment that's capable of reproducing the soundscape as the filmmakers intended. Even the most expensive sound systems will not give you that ear-tingling cinematic experience unless you pair it with a properly acoustically treated room. Similar to how we get started with a listening room, being able to plan your layout from scratch is always going to give us the best results. A room that was designed around your treatment strategy and speaker placement will always sound better than a sound system that had to adapt to an existing layout. The size and shape of your room is going to affect about what kind of sound system you want to use. Geometric constraints can make a complex surround sound system less viable by limiting our speaker placement and treatment options. If you're trying to decide between a 2-channel and 5.1 system, consider the size of your room and make sure you have space to place your speakers optimally. In both of these systems, you're going to want all of your speakers, excluding your subwoofer, to be at ear level and equidistant from the listening position. If you're using a 2-channel setup, you can follow the basic guidelines for any listening room. Start with your listening position centered between your two long walls and about 38% or 3 eighths away from your front short wall, with your front speakers and listening position forming an equilateral triangle. For a 5.1 system, you're still going to want your left and right channel speaker to form an equilateral triangle with your listening position. Your center channel speaker should be placed dead center between that left and right channel speaker. Your rear channel speaker should be about 150 to 110 degrees off center behind your listening position. First reflections are a great place to start your treatment strategy. The more speakers your system employs, the more first reflections you're going to get on your walls, ceilings, and floors. Treating your front speakers will get you the best results, but all speakers will benefit from treating first reflections. Movies employ a lot more bass than your average music track. Explosions, sound effect, and deep cinematic score all reverberate on the lower end, so a good home theater should have plenty of bass absorption. Be sure to use thick panels such as GIK soffit or tri-traps in the corners where bass tends to build up the most. Good bass response requires commitment. You need a lot of thick panels and the more of them you have, the better the results will be. Treating your back wall is always recommended. The two main strategies here being bass trapping and diffusion. Again, you want thick traps in the corners and thick panels across the back wall can help with your bass response. If you're looking to add diffusion, here's a great place to start. Try setting up your diffusion panels so that your main speakers are firing directly at them. Remember, these are just the basic guidelines for setting up your home theater. Your own personal aesthetic as well as the sound system you employ are going to affect the results. You can always plan out your room using our free acoustic visualizer tools or, as always, our team of designers is here to help guide you through every step of the process. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.